Um, you know, as, as most of you know, about two years ago, um, we have uh, decided to uh, significantly scale our activities, our R&D activities in Israel, and we've basically decided to turn it into the third country outside the U.S. in which we have that scale and scope of uh, activities. We call it the Strategic R&D Center. And uh, I think over the last two years, um, lots of progress has been made relative to our vision. Uh, a strategic R&D center is, is really about recreating the Microsoft experience, and that, that's the experience that I've had for the past 17 years. It's a very unique experience. I'll talk more about that in the general session. But if you look at where we are today, two years after the launch, um, we have grown 400% over the past uh, two years. We've acquired five companies. Uh, in that process and uh, very successfully integrating them with our activities. About half of our growth to over 600 people has been through hiring the best minds in the country. We've hired the top uh, students from the leading universities. We've hired a lot of amazing talent from the industry. We have one of the best industries in the world in high technology. And we've hired a lot of very smart people from the top intelligence units and the software units in the Israel Defense Forces. So I think that if you look at that, um, and then you look at what a strategic R&D center is really about, it is about blazing new trails and creating global impact in a number of different and very strategic areas. And if I look at where we are today, we have amazing innovation happening in the security area, which is very critical, both to consumers and to large businesses. We have amazing work, uh, a lot of incubation happening in the telecom area, as well as the mobile space, which is arguably very much larger uh, in terms of units at least uh, relative to the PC. Uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, work happening in the online space and the area of PC health, which is near and dear to many of us. Uh, plus, a lot of new work happening in advertising, search, and most recently with the acquisition of Hidaro. Uh, work happening in, in operating system, in virtualization, which is another high growth area. I think one of the things that I'm very excited about, and we announced that about three, four months ago, is the launch of our early seed incubator. We call it the Israel Innovation Lab. It's sort of a mix of applied research and uh, quick cycle innovation. Um, we have amazing people from the academia as part of that, uh, as part of that lab, and it's really the only such labs outside of outside the U.S. We have several of those labs in the U.S. It's a new concept where we're doing a, a lot of uh, very open-ended uh, type innovation. I think today really marks another important step in realizing this vision.